In roughly two months' time, leaders from all walks of life will gather in the Swiss town of Davos to discuss the world's most pressing issues. Over the years, Korea has transformed into an advanced economy. So has the country's status in the international arena as well as the World Economic Forum. Not only is Korea taking part in identifying the global challenges facing the world today, but in fact is at the forefront of a worldwide revolution. How so? Well, you'll find out in this final piece of my three-week-long coverage of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Meet Hubo. This humanoid robot can run, perhaps even faster than I do. It can withstand balance, do push-ups, and drive. That we've known for years. But the latest Hubo can not only perform manual jobs, but also perform analytical tasks once seen as requiring human judgment based on artificial intelligence. Leading the world's artificial intelligence and automation technology, and home to the latest Hubo is KAIST, or Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. And KAIST made Hubo is flying to Davos. At the upcoming Davos Forum in January, KAIST will showcase and give a demo session on our world renowned Hubo robots and hold discussion sessions about our world class technology. Earlier this year, Team KAIST's DRC Hubo humanoid robot defeated 22 others to win the top $2 million prize from the U.S. Department of Defense's DARPA Research Unit. The contest this year was a battle of robots on an obstacle course meant to simulate conditions similar to the 2011 Fukushima nuclear plant disaster. Also, some of our leading researchers in the field will hold idea labs on the development of future health care, which is becoming more important now than ever. The robots had an hour to complete a series of tasks, somewhat autonomously, with intermittent connectivity with their operators to simulate real disaster conditions. In my case, I'm using biotech to replace a lot of fossil-dependent uh, production system from sustainable, with a sustainable bio-based route. Mm -hmm. So for example, we use engineered microorganisms to produce a lot of different chemicals, materials, fuels from non-food renewable biomass because it's the only way you can actually get the uh, tangible materials without using fossil resources. Mm -hmm. Lab, show... Lee Yap is a prominent bioengineer and a longtime member of the World Economic Forum, having chaired various councils and now part of a meta council of emerging technologies. As global warming becomes an increasingly urgent problem, Yi's discovery of a novel technology to produce gasoline by a bioengineered microorganisms as a solution to someday wean off of fossil fuels has gained outstanding recognition from all over the world. You can do the same thing for gasoline, plastics, etc. Right, so, uh, so this... Um by this process, you would create from microorganism gasoline. Gasoline, succinic acid, whatever you want. Yes. So, so we have developed many, many different uh, strains producing different types of chemicals, materials, fuels, and even drugs. Not only that, this Korean scientist has another breakthrough technology to present to the global audience in Davos. How to change the uh, paradigm of discovering new medicine. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to use uh, basically traditional oriental medicine as an example. 400 years old, Dong Yi Bogam. It's written by Ho Jun, as you know. Oh. So that's going to be quite new. And I'm excited too. So how to marry traditional medicine with modern biology and medical sciences. That probably will be the future of human health care. The fourth industrial revolution, the rapid proliferation of innovative technologies in artificial intelligence, biotechnology, nanotechnology, robotics, and 3D printing will have broad and deep impact on all aspects of life. In fact, it's already upon us. And at the epicenter of the new revolution, leading the drive is Korea's homegrown technology. In the future, it will be not anymore the big fish 
which eats the small fish. It will be the fast fish, which eats the slow fish. The new technological revolution will come like a tsunami. Next time they meet, they'll be in their snow boots and in jackets, and perhaps closer to the fourth industrial revolution. This is where the fourth industrial revolution begins. This is where the road to Davos begins.